Hey guys, Dan Heilman back with another Watcher of Realms video. Today we are on the test server um, and we got Arrogance's girlfriend added to the game here. Her name is Lust. Um, she's not wearing a whole lot of clothing. Um, amazing hero design. I think she looks super cool. I think some people might say she's too um, uncovered maybe. I don't know. We'll see. If people are going to love it, some people might not. Um, I think looks great. She was just added a couple minutes ago. So I was on the test server and it said, we have a new update. So I press the update. We got two brand new heroes added to the game, um, the test server, um, you know, disclosures, uh, all that stuff. This is the test server. Sometimes they change things before they go global. We don't know when she's going to go global. Um, I did see patch notes for Forerunner for her, um, and it mentioned that they were adding a hero with a bond skill uh, with arrogance. So here we go. Bond skill. Um, if you have arrogance, during the ultimate deals 20% extra damage, all damage dealt to enemies inflicts burning. Cool, cool. So if you have arrogance, she does burning. She has a crazy um, range, right? It's like a Dolores range, but it's a fighter. I don't think we have any fighters that face both directions right now. Am I right on that? I don't think we have any fighters that face more than one direction. Right now, you know, if the fighter is in the middle here, they're either facing, you know, right, left, up, you know, basically whichever way you turn them, but they're only facing forward. This is interesting because she can hit backwards and she can hit allies, which is kind of crazy. 15% uh, chance to attack allies instead. So, okay, I went through the bond skill. Uh, let's go through the talent real quick. Let's go through the skills. Um, I'll go through her stats and stuff like that. For every two ultimates activated by faction allies of the Nightmare Council, including this hero, the hero will trigger Sinful Lash one time. Deals 400% damage to a random enemy in range. Okay. Um, so that's that. Now we have this passive here. Gains 20% damage upon dealing damage to allies with basic attacks lasting for 4 seconds. If the targeted ally belongs to the Nightmare Council, there's a 40% chance to restore 10% rage for the target. Okay. Goes up to a 60%. Um, one second added to the duration. Okay. And it goes up to 30% damage. So if she attacks an ally, um, they get they get it, right? Upon dealing damage to allies. Um, oh, no, she gains the damage. Okay. So she gets 30% damage if she attacks an ally, which is weird. Uh, every time Sinful Lash um, is triggered, increases attack speed by 30, stacking up to three times. It looks like that stacks permanently. Um, okay, and then the ultimate. During the ultimate, deals 20% more damage, and each basic attack lands four lashes in a row, lasting for 15 seconds. Looks pretty cool. It's like a big whip. That's pretty cool. Okay. Manual ultimate. Um, 800 skill cost, starts at 500. Fairly low cost. It's pretty cool. Uh, randomly attacks enemies in range two times each dealing 80% damage with a 15% chance to attack allies instead. If the target is an ally, deals damage equal to 5% of the target's HP. Uh, current HP, not total HP. So that's good. You're not going to like one shot one of your allies or something like that if you make her hit really hard because she'll be able to hit her allies basically infinitely because it's 5% of current HP, not max HP, right? If it was 5%, then she'd only be able to hit whatever 20 times. Um, but yeah, okay. Cost is 20, kind of a high cost. Revive time is normal. Block is normal. Um, I have added her onto the spreadsheet. So let's pull up the spreadsheet really quick. Um, she is a fighter. Let me uh, move myself out of the way here. Um, my spreadsheet is always linked in the description if you want to check it out. I like looking at their stats compared to other fighters. So here we go. Other fighters. Let's just compare to legendary fighters. Um, and then let's increase let's go by uh, high to low attack so Ardea we know is the highest Magmus Valderon uh, Lust where does she come up she's quite low on the attack list so she's quite low she's all the way down here 4400 attack one of the lowest attack in the entire game but she has a massive range um, if you look at the range area 13 she has the highest range out of any hero in the game by a long shot uh, by a long shot so she has 13 area meaning how many tiles she can hit she can hit 13 tiles quite good she's single target um, her cost is a 
bit high, but not crazy. I guess the, a lot of the legendary fighters are kind of high cost, it looks like. Um, does she actually have a block of one, or did I write that wrong? Um, she has a block of two. Okay, my bad. My bad, my bad. Block of two. Okay, let's change that. Okay, block of two. Um, we have a couple of guys who only block one. Interesting. Unless I typoed that in there. She does not really have any sort of debuffs or anything like that. Um, so... All right, that's that. She looks really cool. I can't try her out. I don't have her. Oh, let's look at her awakens. Um, whoa, she gets defense reduction. Okay, sinful lash inflicts defense reduction 20% um, on the target. Okay, 300 flat attack. Upon reaching full ecstasy stacks, gains an additional 20% attack speed. Okay, penetration. And during the ultimate, basic attacks land six lashes in a row. That's a lot of lashes. Okay, here's the story if you care about that. Um, okay. She looks really cool. First hero that we have who... Um, doesn't have a lot of clothes on, I think. Um, still looks really awesome. I love like the dragon tail and spines and spikes, and she's got the whip like a succubus. She reminds me of a character from uh, Summoner's Glory, one of the first games I played. Um, very cool, man. The looks are awesome on that Kara. Okay, I already went through these other two heroes that I still don't have any copies of these on the test server. They haven't given us copies of the heroes, um, but. I want to talk about some of the new heroes that are added. I think uh, this dude's new, I, actually, also. Um, there's a couple rares that I've noticed added to the game. Um, where is the other one? Uh, not, 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 not her, not her, not her. Um, not here. There's a new healer added to the game. Here's the other new hero I'll talk about in a second. But this girl is also added to the game, a rare hero. Um... I've seen her here, but I have not seen her in any of the other. She's not in the global server, um, but we have this girl, autocast, healing the ally. Um, every 20 seconds applies heal over time and uh, single attack base. So that was kind of interesting. I just noticed that there was another rare hero. But here's another hero added to the game today, literally a couple minutes ago. Artemis. Um, looks pretty cool. It looks like he has a huge nerf gun. Um, it looks freaking sweet. Uh, he has this huge sniper um, with these little red things he gets to shoot. Looks really cool. This is an AoE damage healer so kind of like carnelian um pretty cool so here's the talent let's see here when healing allies applied with blood craving restore two percent rage this is like a buff that he puts on targets meaning they get bigger heals um let's start for the auto um passive thingy here periodically locks onto allies excluding this hero and throws sanguine tonic on them when hitting a target applies blood craving to nearby allies and heals them with 120 percent multiplier okay pretty cool so this is locking onto allies he can also lock onto enemies you'll see somewhere here i'll show you uh, during the ultimate heals up to three allies around the target with 100 percent healing multiplier upon hit basic attack prioritizes enemy targets during the ultimate unless there are only allies in range so when he uses the ultimate he's going to attack on a priority unless there's no one to attack then he's going to heal um but it's also healing around the target you can see here during the ultimate heals up to three allies around the target remember the ultimate can only target enemies so this is saying it's going to attack but it's going to heal people around who's getting attacked so like a tank if he's tanking is going to get healed while he is damaging the person hitting the tank if that makes sense uh manual ultimate during the ultimate locks onto enemies dealing 160 percent aoe damage to up to eight enemies with each attack inflicting anti-healing unable to recover hp 100 percent anti-heal uh pretty cool and then grants attack based healing to one ally in range so the ultimate deals damage um, and it looks like that's the only way to deal damage because the basic attack is a heal. So it looks like you're going to deal damage always during the ultimate. When you're not in the ultimate, you're going to be healing. So pretty cool. Um, and he does this thing where he locks on and gives them a bigger healing multiplier. Um, yeah, pretty sweet. What's his stats? We got a 5,400, um, attack on him. Let's go through awakens and then we'll go through his stats compared to others. Uh, during the ultimate increases crit rate by 50%. Okay. He can crit as well. Um, 
Yeah, so he's going to be kind of like a little light lock almost um, in a way. Someone who can deal damage or, or more like Carnelian, I guess. Um, but Carnelian doesn't heal unless they're below a certain point. Um, this guy just deals damage during the ultimate, so increases the effect duration of blood craving on allies by 5 seconds in the A3. Rage regen. Um, Sanguine Tonic kills allies in range with a 30% healing multiplier per second, lasting 5 seconds. Uh, this is interesting. So you get 50% crit. Um, he only deals damage during the ultimate, so that's good. That means you only have to build 50% 50, 50 crit. Um, he has a story, which I don't care too much about. Uh, um, that's that. Okay. So that's pretty sweet. Um, another new hero added to the game. We don't have anything down here, do we? Um, nope. These look like all the normal people in here. Interesting. Okay, now let's look at um, the stats of our new healer here. So let's, uh, oops, let's go just healer. Okay, we're in Legendary Healers only. Legendary um, legendary Healers only. Okay, so we added this dude. What is his name again? Artemis. Okay, here we go. So if we organize by attack, he's quite high attack, actually. Um, Elowen has the highest attack, then Eunomia and Ezrin, then Artemis, Leia. Um, so he has... Where is he? Artemis, right here. So he has solid attack, really solid attack. Actually pretty decent HP. He has good stats. He has quite good stats. Um, he's got anti-heal as well. Um, he's got a little bit kind of low defense, but he has pretty high magic resist. So, okay. What's his cost? Six, 18 cost, 18 cost. And he has a 12 area and a four range. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, just wanted to go through these guys. We got some new guys added to the test server. Um, I cannot test them at all because I don't have them yet. And um, oh, these guys are regular heroes. I could summon and get these guys. Uh, so that's gonna be pretty much it for the video. Um, I just wanted to show you these new heroes. I think I can get them from regular summons. So I could technically get these guys if I did enough summons. Uh, this person, obviously I cannot get because he's chaotic and I can't do ancient summons on the test server. But I could technically get these two girls actually, Helga and the new uh, fighter. We'll just do a couple summons to end out the video. Comment below what you guys think about it. Um, again, I'm on the test server, so I have a trillion summons just kind of for fun. Um, but we wanted to check it out. Hey, gold, right off the bat, let's see what we get uh, to end up the video here maybe I'll do a couple summons see if I can get these heroes and then uh, mess around a little bit with them so hey Silas Ooh, nice 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 okay that's pretty much it for the video guys hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that like and that subscribe button have a great day everyone wanted to uh, I just noticed the patch on uh, on the test server so I figured ooh, we get to check out some new stuff so hope you guys enjoyed it uh, pretty cool character designs that is it for the video Love you guys. Have a great day. See ya.